gems welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be teaching you everything I know about curling your hair so I'm going to be teaching you how to use a curling iron with a clamp how to curl your hair the types of curls and the best practices when you're curling your hair for yourself or for your clients all right so if that's something that you want to watch and you want to learn all these tips techniques and all of those things please stick on so the first and most important thing to consider when you're going to curl your hair is the condition of your hair and yes you guys when you are going to curl your hair what's important is to have the hair a little dirty so what I mean by that is it's good to have unwashed hair so my hair it's been at least one week since I've washed my hair I don't know if you can say but there is a lot of hair oils like the natural oils from the scalp and all of those things it's dirty it's messy it's super thick as you can see it's not silky it's not smooth it's not you know it's not fresh so I have like really dirty hair so when it comes to hair curling when your hair is dirty or a little damaged your hair curls better if you have silky smooth healthy beautiful hair it's hard to work with that hair because it's hard to put the curls into that hair it won't stay for a long time so when you have a client or if you have really silky smooth you know clean healthy hair it's good to use some products to make your hair a little bit textured or to make it a little bit dirtier or you know I'm not saying make your hair damaged but it's nice when your hair is a little fizzy so every time you're trying to curl your hair always make sure that your hair is you know like unwashed hair is better when it comes to curling yes so having some sort of hair like this especially because I waited uh, you know to curl my hair so I have had my hair unwashed for about a week you guys and the curls on hair like this will stay for a longer time and it also curls better okay so you're going to start off okay so you're going to start off with dirty hair but let's just say you have a client who has clean hair they've just walked in with clean hair what sort of products will you use to make their hair a little bit more you know to have a little bit more hold to have a little bit more grit what do you do so I'm going to talk about the products that you can use to get better curls Batiste texturizing spray so this is the texturizing spray by Batiste and this is amazing you guys it gives a lot of texture and hold to the hair and this is how it works you can just like spray it into your hair and do this and as you can see it smells amazing I mean you can't smell it but it smells amazing and your hair instantly has a lot of hold and once you do this right your hair will really curl better and the next thing to do is use a heat protectant spray this is the Tony and Guy heat protectant spray so using this heat protectant spray all over your hair is good but however though use this all over your hair and after you use it right when you're going to curl your hair it's always a very good practice to take the strand of hair that you're going to curl and make it wet with this comb your hair through and then try to heat it because after you apply the heat protectant to your hair it's important to use it before you curl your hair because then the protection is better so always do that up next is the Gatsby stronghold so this is a hairspray so you can use this hairspray after you're done curling your hair right so to hold everything up in place you can use this stronghold hairspray to make sure that it retains its uh, you know curl and everything so this is the Gatsby uh, stronghold hairspray and it's super cheap it's really affordable and I love this product so now I'm going to talk about the kind of products to stay away when you're curling your hair any sort of serum oils anything that will make your hair silky smooth stay away from it any sort of shine spray stay away from it let the hair curl and after that if you want you know you could give a little bit of a shine spray but before that do not use any sort of serum or any sort of you know anything with silicone that will make your hair soft or smooth because when the hair is super smooth right it's hard for the curl to stay curled if you want your hair to stay curled it's important for the hair to have some sort of hold to it some sort of do you understand some sort of tackiness so that it can hold the curls can hold right so your hair should not have any sort of do not use any sort of serum or you know some sort of oils or anything like that stay away from it so I'm also going to be putting up pictures of certain products that you can use which are great for curling your hair 
so i'm going to put up this product for uh, you know giving you an instant root lift if you want some volume in the roots right you can use this product i forgot the name you guys it's the redken uh, some powder so i'm going to just put up the picture of it over here and the product name so you can actually get it you can also use the pantene uh, you know thing i'm sorry the oil replacement thing i clearly forgot the name and my products are downstairs i don't want to go right now and pick it up but yeah this is amazing once you put it in your hair your hair has a lot of texture has a lot of hold to it it's uh, you know it instantly makes your hair easier to hold and everything and it's great when you're styling your hair so you can also use that before you curl your hair so the tool that i'm going to be using to curl my hair is the iconic ct28 you guys so this is the package of the ct28 it's a beautiful curling uh, iron it comes with a clamp you guys and this is the product that i'm going to be using to curl my hair so this is how the product looks you guys it comes with a clamp can you see the clamp opening over here so you can either open the clamp with your fingers like this or you could also use your thumb finger like your thumb thumb finger <laughs> you can also use your thumb to open the clamp and you can also use it as a wand like just leave the clamp with it and you can also use it as a wand it has you know all the rubbers all the protection and it is a digital uh, sort of a you know heating wand so it goes up till 210 and you can see the temperature rising over here and it shows you how much the temperature has risen so it has two buttons over here plus and minus for the temperature and one on and off button so this is the product that i'm going to be using it has a long barrel it's perfect for holding your hair and curling it so this is the most important part of the video you guys this is just so important so my a curling wand is not plugged in right now so without plugging in i'm going to show you the types of curls you can get with the curling wand and how to hold the curling wand and how to get the needed result all right so most of the times when you're trying to curl your hair and you see all the curls coming towards your face right your curls are always coming like this so it really just closes your face so the kind of curls that you want at least near your face are curls that will go away from your face so it's something that goes up like this so i'm going to teach you the types of curls that you can get so i'm going to be teaching you about curls that go towards the face and curls that go away from the face all right get curls that go away from the face especially near your face right i'm going to take a small strand of hair and how you're going to be holding your curling wand is from down okay from down you're going to be holding it like this and the clamp right the clamp should face forward okay so the clamp should face forward and what you're going to do is you're going to leave your hair in and your hair should be in the middle of the curling wand all right so can you see there's enough space down below there's enough space up or your hair should be up okay it should not start from down and the reason that i say that your hair should be somewhere in the middle is because we are going to start curling from here so we curl we come down we curl we come down and then we will finish it off at the ends so the reason that we do this is because we have the oldest the hair with the most damage is out over here so if you start curling from down right you are going to burn this hair a lot more than it is actually required so it's really really advisable to start curling from the center so that the tips of your hair don't get damaged so that you don't get split ends and such things okay so you are going to now take your curling wand put your hair somewhere in the middle or top okay and after that what you're going to do is you're going to twist in the direction of your hair flowing so which side is the hair flowing can you tell me is it flowing this way or is it flowing this way can you see if i go this side it is actually going opposite to the clamp right so you will get a nice bend over here when you're using heat you will get a bend over here so it's perfect to go with the flow of the hair so you're going to just turn okay you're going to turn and at this point your clamp has come behind your uh, curling wand so you have to have to loosen it up a little bit and hold so now this part of your hair is getting curled right and then you just slowly turn it slowly turn it 
so that the heat is distributed on all sides and now can you tell me which side the curl is going the curl is going away from the face can you see the curls are going that side so when you do these types of curls that go away from the face it's actually nice because these are the curls that are going to frame your face and it's nice when curls go away from your face when you frame them you guys so face framing curls are nice like that so with this technique you can actually go as close as you want with the root right and when it's curling you can touch it and see to feel oh is the heat up and usually i would suggest sticking to like anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds that's enough so depending on your hair texture if it's too thick if it's too rough make sure that the heat has gone through evenly and then you can just release your curl and you will have oh see i didn't even use i didn't even use heat and can you see the curl is actually going away from the face so this is how you do face framing curls or this is how you do curls that go away from your face okay so on this side i'm going to show you curls that go towards the face and what would you do to get curls that go towards your face so to get curls that go towards your face all you have to do is take the clamp and put it behind okay so now the clamp is back right and then you do the same thing you put your hair somewhere in the middle or on the top and then you go with the flow of your hair which side is the hair flowing the hair is naturally flowing towards the face right the hair is coming this side if it goes this side can you see there is some sort of a dent happening right so you have to go towards your face so now you just curl okay and use this clamp to release and again hold release curl release curl can you see this hair is coming towards my face so that's how you do curls that come towards your face so the reason that you learn two types of curls is because you can actually alternate curls on your hair so if you do one type of curl that just goes away from your face your whole hair is going to be in a single wave sort of a thing when you finally leave it free right so it's nice to alternate curls one going towards the face one going away from the face it has a very beautiful texture it looks really nice when you're doing beachy waves it looks beautiful so it's really nice to do that so i hope you guys understood the way the curls goes okay so now i'm going to actually plug in my curling wand and show you guys how the curls will look so i'm just gonna quickly prepare my hair i'm using the batiste texturizing spray all over my hair and then i'm just like you know pressing my hair and making sure that it has a lot of you know grip i'm also just combing my hair for any sort of knots or anything like that and i'm taking a center partition so i can show you how i curl equally then i'm going to be sectioning my hair into three sections so this is the top section, the center section and the one bottom down below. I will however take tiny tiny sections and then curl my hair. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you guys the digital temperature, how it goes up. So I'm going to set it to 165 and I'm using a glove like to just heat protect and so i've just started off from the sides of my face and usually the first curl anything near my face i curl it away from my face so as you can see i'm just curling it away from my face and to make sure that the curls hold you can hold the curl in its position when it's hot and clip it to your hair so that it dries down it cools down in that position now because it's the front section i'm going to show you guys take tiny tiny sections you guys take the tiniest section that you want if you want nice defined curls take small tiny sections and make sure that section is super smooth okay so comb it really well and then prep it with some heat protectant mist and make sure that the protectant mist has gone throughout the hair and once you feel like it's relatively dried then go in with your curling wand and because it's the face framing curl i'm going away from my face i'm going to twist once 
and then wait for a curl to form and then twist again so that I don't heat damage the tips of my hair and then curl it and go as close as I want and once I feel like the heat has come out I'm gonna release it so I will have pretty pretty curls so this is how you do your face framing curls and because it's you know near my face I thought I should show okay so the next strand of hair I am gonna take a tiny piece of hair comb it through make sure that it's smooth and has no knots prep it with some heat protectant mist and this hair I'm going to alternate it so I'm going to put the clamp behind my hair okay and then from halfway through we are going to curl this hair towards my face so we have alternating curls okay so I'm gonna curl it wait for the curls to form and then twist it and can you see the tip of my hair is still over here and then finally we are going to pull that hair also inside yes it's gone inside and now we can go as close as we want towards our scalp and make sure that you're not burning your scalp don't rest it on your head but just keep it close to the scalp and once the heat is evenly distributed release it and then we will have curls now I'm going to take a tiny section of hair after preparing it with heat protectant mist, what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl away from my face. So I'm putting the clamp forward and I'm making sure that the hair is somewhere in the middle. And then I'm going to go with the flow of the hair and I'm going to like curl. So twist, curl and then the tips of my hair. Can you see it's going away from my face? So again, I'm going to make sure that the tips go in. And then we can go as close as we want to our scalp. Can you see it's not touching my scalp but it's close. And now I'm going to release. And as you can see we have beautiful curls that are going away from our face. Okay. So now I'm going to take the next section of hair. I'm going to comb it. And make sure that it's smooth without any knots. And then I'm going to prepare it with some heat protectant mist. Comb it through and make sure that it's damp and relatively dry. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate the curl. So we did one curl going away from the face. Now we are going to do a curl that goes towards the face. So the clamp goes behind and hold the hair halfway through. And now we are going to go with the flow of the hair. We are going to turn and hold turn and hold turn and hold and turn and hold so now we are going to get the tips of our hair also inside so everything is curled oh. and make sure that we go as close as we want towards our scalp so we have really close curls and once we feel the heat is woof hot we are going to release so we have two types of curls one curl that is going towards the face and one curl that's going away from the face okay so this is how you alternate your curls okay so i'm going to quickly i have super thick hair you guys so i'm going to quickly come to the front part of my head so if i leave this it'll actually just look like i have not done any hard work because that's how thick my hair is so i'm just gonna curl the front front bit of my hair for so this side of my hair what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a tiny section of my hair you guys so a tiny section like this i'm gonna comb it and make sure that it is super smooth i know it's repetitive whatever whatever i'm saying i know it's it feels repetitive but if i keep saying it you will finally feel like it clicks in your head and then it will become muscle memory. So once you learn it, once you understand the technique behind this, you can just do it even in your sleep. So the first curl I'm going to do away from my face. So the clamp goes in forward. The clamp is forward and the hair is in the middle and then I'm going to go with the flow of my hair. I'm just going to twist, release, twist, release 
twist release and then I'm gonna go as close as I want to my scalp and make sure that the heat is out it is hot 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 and then I'm gonna release so I have really nice bouncy voluminous curl can you see it's really nice bouncy curl okay so you can clip it if you clip it the curl the heat is going to be there in that position it's going to cool in that position and you're going to have a long lasting curl you can do that but i mean like you can just like hold everything and just clip it but right now i'm not going to do that so the next curl that i'm going to do is going to be towards my face the first curl was away from my face the second curl is towards my face and to get a curl towards my face what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the clamp behind the clamp goes behind the hair and you're going to go in the middle and you're going to go towards the flow of your hair and you're going to release the clamp curl slide curl slide and then you're going to roll it to as close as you want towards your scalp you're going to make sure that the heat has it's not hot yet so i'm going to wait for the heat to come it is getting hot it's super hot okay now I'm going to release my hair and I'm going to have alternating curls. One curl goes towards the face and one curl goes away from the face. So I can do the same thing on this side also. So I'm going to take a tiny section of hair. Always make sure that you prepare your hair you guys. Uh, for video purpose you can see that I'm not really following all the needed steps. But yeah. So again the hair close to my face i'm gonna curl it away from my face so it looks nice and so it really just frames my face so now i'm gonna release it and i have a super pretty bouncy curl so the next bit of my hair i'm gonna curl towards my face so that that is a little bit of all donating curls so the clamp goes behind the hair and then you curl on the flow of your hair and you just curl it roll slide roll slide that's what you're going to do and then roll it as close as you want towards the head hold it till the heat comes through and once you start feeling the heat coming through you're going to release and you will have your pretty curls so you guys it's important that you hold your curling wand from down below and in certain parts when where you can't get you know you will go upside down when you go upside down please understand that the direction of the curl will also change it's different when you're doing it for someone because then you can see their hair from behind right and it's different when you do the curls yourself on yourself so always take your time when you're curling you know take as much as time as you want if you have an event to go to get up early try to get as much as time as you can get to make sure that you curl your hair for me curling my hair completely takes at least 45 minutes to one hour and my hand starts hurting over here so take your time and then curl if you want the curls to be a little bit fluffier what you could do is you could just take your comb and just back comb it a little bit so it gets a little bit of volume yeah so i think i've given you all the tips and tricks that you need to achieve beautiful curly curly hair <laughs> so you guys on that note i'm gonna sign off so if you have any other you know requests for videos or if you have any other questions or anything else that you would like me to do please comment down below on the video i read every comment i respond to every comment i try my best so i will be reading and responding and also if you think i missed out any points please let me know so i will see you guys in my next video so until then please stay safe and stay happy